kayapaan, kaunlar ang pinahalagahan upang mapabuti buhay ng mamamayan. Ito ang action sa kung bansa'y nagkasundo, pantindig mo ay buksan at ako'y pakinggan mo. Pilipinas, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Laos, Brunei at meron pang iba. Myanmar, Vietnam, pati na Indonesia, syempre kasama din dyan ang Cambodia. Nagkakaunawaan, walang hidwaan, mga bagay ay dinadaan sa maayos na usapan. Mga kabwa ko, Pinoy, hoy, halika na, makiisa, tayo na tara. Ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh, ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh, ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh. Mula ka na abang, hanggang sa divisorya, ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh, ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh, ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh. Mula ka na abang, hanggang sa divisorya, lubi sa palisi, sa mga bansang kasapi, kaya naman sa SG ko na dinate si Hani, kaso sa Thailand, kami nagkatabuhan, ang aking kaibigan, kanyang pinagsinosan, teka! Hindi ko ito kwento Ano nga ba ang matutulong nito sa Pilipino Kung lapis at papel pati libro daw ay tutukan ko Sabi yan tiyan, pwedeng sumikat ang katulad ko Sabi ng ininyerong, doon na naninirahan Ganyan na resulta ng bansang magkakaibigan Mga kapwa ko Pinoy, sa Hanoy halika na Makiisa, tayo na tara Ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh Ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh Ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh Isang gabi sa bangko, pumarera sa Pinang Ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh Ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh Ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh Isang gabi sa bangko, pumarera sa Pinang Likas na yaman, pangangalagaan Maliit na negosyo, maraming bubuksan Nakakahawa na sakit ay nilalabanan Nagtutulungan para sa kalusugan Karapat ang pantao, ito ang gusto ko Mga pirata, hindi lulusot dito Ansi smuggling at drug trafficking Hindi na pwede yan, may pidong let's sing Ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh Ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh Ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh Bandar seribigawan, ipagsigawan Ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh Ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh Ay sayan na tayo, oh, oh Bandar seribigawan, ipagsigawan No belo ni non Feel the break of dawn, yo. DWPP, Sherman on the MIC, partnering for change, engaging the world. Isang magandang araw mga kababayan. Welcome sa isa na namang exciting episode ng ASEAN na tayo. Ang programa ang magatid sa inyo ng latest update sa hosting ng Pilipinas ng ASEAN Summits this year 2017. Ako po si Chris Ablan. At ako naman po si Margo Medwinta. And of course, we have a lot in store for you na yun. So don't forget to follow and of course like us first on the radio, television, Malacanang and the Presidential Communications Facebook pages. That's RTV, Malacanang, YouTube channel. And of course, don't forget to check out the website, rtvm.gov.ph. How are you? I am very good. Uh, we got a lot of uh, views uh, on our first episode. Oh, nga, and uh, <laughs> I was telling our guest uh, that it should have been renamed to Margo Natayo because all of Nama. them are all asking about <laughs> you. But yeah. uh, um, well, it's good that uh, we are now uh, have more an, uh, more or less an idea of what ASEAN is. Yeah. And that's what's important with uh, this with this show. Nama para malaman ng mga kababayan natin kung ano ba, nga, nga ba ang ASEAN at yeah. anong halaga ng pag-host ng Pilipinas sa ASEAN ngayon at somehow may idea na tayo what ASEAN really is all about kilalanin na, naman natin ang mga bansang kinabibilangan ng prestigyosong samahan na ito umpisa natin sa bansang Brunei And of course, last October, nagpunta si President Rodrigo Duterte sa Brunei, and this was para sa isang state visit. So make sure to watch this video.
Wow, puro gold ang mga furniture sa Ay, Brunei. Wow. So, malaki ata ang mining sa Brunei. Hindi, joke lang yun. <laughs> Alright, okay. Margo, we have a very uh, yes. important uh, guest uh, this episode. Uh, straight from the Department of Foreign Affairs Office for uh, ASEAN. Uh, let's uh, welcome Executive Director Zaldi Patron from the Office of ASEAN Affairs. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, yeah. good, hello. good evening. Thank you. Maganda gabi sa inyo, Asset Quiz, uh, Margo. Maganda Hi. gabi. And uh, salamat sa uh, pag-invita niyo sa amin na uh, makapunta dito sa inyong programa. No, thank you for coming here and yeah. joining us. Yeah. So, would you like to explain further to us, you know, about the relationship with Brunei and ASEAN for us here? Brunei and ASEAN. Yeah. Of course, and uh, the Philippines also. And the Philippines, yeah, of course, because I connected, connected lahat. Kanina, video footage mm -hmm. about uh, the visit of uh, our president to uh, Brunei, you know where they talked about cooperation on uh, trade and investment mm -hmm. and uh, political and defense. No? Mm -hmm. So uh, we express uh, interest in uh, acquiring uh, standards for uh, production of uh, halal products. Oh. Uh, this is something that uh, we would like to uh, go into because no? it's a uh, big market. So especially yung mga producers natin ng halal products sa Southern Philippines, no? yes. we would like them to also export to uh, Brunei market and other Islamic nations. Wow. So that's one. And uh, they talked about uh, BIMP Iaga, the Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, East Asia growth area. Yes. Marami tayong cooperation within that region and we're two members of that uh, sub-regional uh, grouping. Mm -hmm. And uh, Brunei also expressed uh, uh, its uh, full support for the chairmanship of uh, ASEAN of the Philippines uh, this year. So that's uh, one good news. We can rely on uh, the cooperation of uh, Brunei uh, on many of our initiatives this year. And uh, the President also talked about the need to cooperate in uh, combating uh, piracy, terrorism, mm -hmm. oh, violent yes. extremism. So it was a very productive uh, visit of uh, the President. Itong uh, trip ni President sa Brunei was uh, last October po. No? Yes, October. Alright, mm. so, yeah. um, and surely sir, isa rin sa highlights ng trip na ito ni Presidente Duterte ay ang pagbisita niya sa ilan libong kababayan natin na naninirahan at nagtatrabaho sa mm. Brunei. Yep. And of course, tama ka dyan, Chris. At balita ko po na yun, parang concert ang meeting ni President Duterte with the Filipino community there. Yeah. Kasi ang dami nagpunta kasi gusto nila makita, of course, our President. So, let's watch yeah. another video. Why am I here? I am here because I love my country and I love the Philippines. Kaya ganon. Kaya nung what drove me to the president? Patriotism. Small time lang. Small time mayor for the love of this country. No big deal. I will work to what strictly in accordance with what God wanted me. Kasi nga ang pagka-presidente ko, almost destined. It's a miracle. So he wants me to improve my country, stop corruption, and make the lives of the Filipinos comfortable. Maraming salamat. We are very happy. Ang saya-saya. At daman-daman namin yung, yung sinabi niya at saka parang talaga nakikinig kami sa ama ng, ng bansa and talagang we are so proud that he is here. We are so happy after the delays, yung, yung reset ng schedules at tuwanto ang buong Pilipino dito sa Brunei, Darussalam. Uh, Mr. President, palakas ka. Huwag ka masyado manghihina. Alam ko napapagod na po kayo. Uh, pero alam po na ninyo rin na mahal na mahal namin kayo at nandito kami, susuporta kami kung anong po ang programa okay. ng ating gobyerno. Nandito po kami sa inyo, suportado namin kayo palagi. Maawag lang kayo sa amin, nandito kami palagi sa inyo. Mabuhay po kayo, Pangulong Duterte. Uh, napaka matagumpay ang kanyang pagbisita dito sa Brunei at nagagala kami mga Pilipino at siya nakarating sa Brunei. Uh, sana po ay humaba ang kanyang buhay at matapos niya ang termino niya. Ano 
Eh, eh siyempre pa, maligaya may ligaya. Kanina po, nung pagdating pa lang niya, halos mangyak-ngyak na ako eh. Ganun. Hanggang ngayon. Hanggang ngayon, kami ng asawa ko. Uh, ang message namin ay sana long life. Yun lang, long life, saka more, more pa. Labanan pa ng gusto ang droga. Kasi pag uwi namin, talagang, na, talagang naranasan namin yung pagbabago. Wi-Fi, lahat na lang, wala nang... Wala nang ta wala, wala kang wala, walang ano sa iyo walang pipigil sa iyo na lumabas parang wala lang yun ang pagbabago talaga dapat sa airport po sa airport ngayon sa airport po yun sa kasakal sa po wala nang mga standby na nakahubad na nagiinuman sa labas kaya ako hindi na rin ako uminom sa labas sa loob ng bahay na lang bawal na bawal na ho yun lang ho Mr. President God bless more power more life marami pa Uh, Na-reaffirm niya sa amin yung, yung talagang expect, expectations namin sa kanya. At uh, yung, yung, yung quality niya as a good leader na, na, na nakita namin. So iba talaga yung live. Ano po naman ang message niyo para sa President? Uh, long life sa kanya at saka yung, yung continuous good governance. Uh, more yeah. power, Mr. President. Uh, yeah. And I, I really hope that the whole Filipino people would work things out at uh, sana wala nang dilemma. It's really a great honor to once again MC the President of the Philippines uh, and we are overjoyed by his presence here. Inintay po namin ang isang buwan but it's worth the wait. We just want to thank the President of the Philippines for taking time to visit Brunei Jerusalem. Mr. President, wag po kayong titigil. We are at your back. We believe what on what you, your visions for the Philippines is. Kahit ano pa huwag sabihin nila, we are at your back. We love you, Mr. President. Wow, no? Naka-fist so bump pa talaga si ate <laughs> sa Brunei. Tsaka, yeah. I've never been to Brunei, E.D. Zaldi, no? Pero sa, yeah. sa, sa video, para ang dami nila doon. Parang, yeah. uh, ilan po ba ang mga Pilipino natin, ang uh, Pilipino sa uh, Brunei? Yeah. Uh, based on uh, the report of our Philippine Embassy there, there are about 24,000 uh, Filipinos in mm -hmm. uh, Brunei. No? And uh, many of them are professionals. They are engineers, architects, uh, nurses, and uh, mga technicians mm -hmm. like welders. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, they are uh, uh, well off. You know? mm -hmm. uh, I think they are paid uh, high. Mm -hmm. And uh, our construction workers, whenever they are uh, working, they are given uh, safety gears. Mm -hmm. you know? So they are highly regarded uh -huh. in uh, Brunei. In fact, uh, His Majesty the Sultan uh, in uh, several locations uh, has expressed uh, appreciation and recognition for the uh, invaluable role of uh, Filipinos in the economic development of Brunei. Mukhang maganda ang employment mix ng mga Filipinos natin sa Brunei compared yep. to uh, other countries in the region. No? Like, like you mentioned, uh, yeah. Edi, we have professionals, yeah. we have those in tech book, of course yeah. we also have in the caregiving and yes. in the yeah uh, so yes uh, we also have uh, household helps there yes. but uh, mm -hmm. one good thing is that uh, the, their employers in uh, Brunei uh, observe the minimum uh, wage that should be uh, given to them no? I think on the average they're paying uh, four hundred fifty dollars uh, per month which is in accordance with our POEA uh, regulation no? mm -hmm. and uh, it's good to note that uh, many of them uh, have uh, worked with their employers for uh, a decade mm -hmm. or more mm -hmm. so which means that they are satisfied with the working conditions Tama. in Brunei mm -hmm. well baka the, after this episode madami pang mag-apply trabaho <laughs> sa Brunei Tama. Why and they not, seem diba? happy naman yeah. from the video yeah, yeah. yeah. They really seem to be happy also to see the president. Tama, no? sobrang masaya sila. The, the, the support uh, from the international community of Filipinos is really overwhelming for yes. PRRT. Yeah. Tama. Yeah. Yeah. All right, right. so uh, according to the ASEAN 2017 briefer produced by the PCOO, my office, wow. ang Brunei <laughs> ay isa sa mga pinaka-active na member countries in promoting the ASEAN Economic Community or AEC blueprint. Relatively, uh, Sir Zaldi, the AEC is the realization of the community's end goal of economic integration. Yeah. That's a mouthful. What is yeah. this integration all about? <laughs> Explain. Yeah. Well, it's about looking uh, at uh, ASEAN as a single market. No? Mm. So if you are a producer, uh, you have a company here in uh, Metro Manila, uh, your market is not only the 100 million Filipinos. Right. So you, you know, uh, you are not limited to just export to Mindanao, mm -hmm. to uh, Visayas. Yes. No? Your ASEAN market is yes. your market yes. because we have lowered already the tariff. Yes. No? 
And so you can freely uh, export your mar your goods to uh, Singapore, to Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam. You know? And the uh, only difference would be uh, adding uh, shipping cost. No? So your cost of production here plus your shipping cost, and that's your uh, uh, price for uh, your goods in uh, other uh, ASEAN markets. No? So if it so happens that it will be more expensive for you to uh, export to Mindanao, you have the option uh, of exporting it to Singapore right. or to Malaysia. Which may be no? cheaper. And it's, uh, we are 630 million uh, people here in uh, Southeast Asia. Asia oh. no? So that is your market. No? And uh, in the process also, because we have the ASEAN uh, Free Trade Agreement, mm -hmm. no? our uh, products can um, go to their markets and their products can also go to our market, no? which gives our consumers wider uh, choices. Diba? At saka, we're not only talking about consumer goods, diba? we're also talking about uh, production in foods. No? So if you are able to uh, uh, import uh, lower uh, uh, inputs of production, that can translate to lower uh, uh, products, no? lower priced uh, products here in uh, uh, the Philippines. No? And right now, what we are seeing is that uh, Philippine products like uh, C2, uh, oh, yeah. Jollibee, diba? uh, Jack and Jill, <laughs> You go to uh, Thailand, you can already find it. Yes. You know? And uh, you go to the supermarket here, uh, you can see a lot of uh, Southeast Asian products already on the shelves. So, we have variety yes. done. Yes. Which may not have been possible a few years ago. Yeah, so, it's ang maganda sa ASEAN. Yeah. Hindi lang kasi alam ng tao na kaya nagmumura yung mga produkto galing ibang bansa at kaya yung mga business nila kaya nila mag-export sa ibang bansa eh dahil sa ASEAN. Tama yun, as a Chris. Oh. And uh, in addition to that, the ASEAN Free Trade Area, we also have this uh, um, uh, mutual recognition arrangement, which is meant to uh, encourage uh, freer movement of uh, labor. No? Mm -hmm. So there are now eight uh, professions in uh, ASEAN. No? So that includes uh, engineering services, uh, nursing, uh, medical mm -hmm. uh, uh, practices, uh, architecture, accounting. No? If uh, you are able to accredit yourself as an uh, uh, engineer, uh, then you can also look for work as an engineer in uh, other countries in uh, ASEAN. So if I may also add, ano po bang yung maging advantage ng Philippines for this integration? Bilang this year is the host country for ASEAN here. Is there any Philippines. specific uh, improvement because we are uh, hosting the ASEAN? Yes. Well, uh, this is an opportunity for us to showcase our country no? mm -hmm. for uh, uh, the people, uh, the business people, the delegates to see how stable our country is, uh, the vibrancy of our uh, economy. Diba? We're the fastest, uh, um, one of the fastest growing uh, region, uh, country in the region. Diba? And uh, they will see na ang daming infrastructure development going on uh, around the country. Yes. And uh, the venues of uh, the meetings of ASEAN is also a chance to uh, promote uh, the tourism destinations in uh, many of these places. Yes. Like we hosted the ASEAN uh, Ministerial Meeting Retreat in Boracay. Yes. So we brought uh, delegates there uh -huh. and they were amazed. No? They were really impressed at the beauty of uh, Boracay. And yes. many of them have said na, they will be coming back uh, on a private families. visit because uh, they fell in love with uh, Boracay. And so we will be doing that in uh, other places too, uh, in Bacolod, in Bohol, in Iloilo, Cebu. You know, of course, here in Metro Manila and uh, also in Bicol, you know, oh, Palawan. That's you know. nice. so, so the importance of hosting is actually heightened awareness in the region. That's right. Which would strengthen our bilateral and other economic integration uh, yeah. Agreements. Yeah. Plus the fact that uh, when you are uh, hosting meetings in these places, you're also helping the local economy, yeah. di ba? Kasi mag increase yung hotel uh, occupancy, mm -hmm. di ba? Magre-rent sila ng vehicles, they will buy food, they will buy souvenir items. Yeah. And sabi natin, tourism is uh, one of the most uh, effective uh, industries, di ba? That can stimulate uh, growth in, uh, in a place. Kasi... Yeah. Yung mga nagpa-participate sa tourism uh, mm -hmm. is uh, cuts across uh, different sectors. No? Yung yeah. mga drivers, nakikinabang sila. Yung mga sellers ng mga uh, souvenir items. No? Yung yeah. mga M M MSME. No? So it's not only limited to the big players but also to the small players. To the locals as well. Speaking of the AEM retreat, no? yeah. uh, I think we have a video showing uh, interviews oh. of uh, Man on the Street. So let's watch it. Okay. <laughs>
Well, the Philippines has proven itself, no? For the past many years, our growth was fantastic. We're like one of the tiger economy in Asia. And we have so much to show to, to the ASEAN because we have a beautiful country. We have lots of nice places to see. We have uh, a lot of young people that can be in the having jobs, you know, we have the most, uh, the country that has most of the young people here. So uh, we'd, love, we'd love them to see what's going on in the Philippines because it's exciting in the Philippines right now. And I think uh, with a new administration, it's going to go really, really fast, faster. Um, if the EU or if other countries can have a similar um, benefits like the ASEAN, that um, would definitely help boost the economy of Philippines and the whole region as well because you see all the blooming neighbors um, like Myanmar, like Cambodia, um, they're definitely liberalizing, um, they're opening up their markets which I think um, these are a good vibes for the whole area to grow. Uh, the advantages of the Philippines being the host of this um, event ASEAN is that it gives us opportunity to uh, maximum exposure of our um, MSME products which uh, we call Go Local in DTI and that uh, we also have uh, the opportunity to expose the tourism um, in our country. Yeah. Okay, ayan. so that was yeah. exactly what you were talking about, yeah. the Dizal yeah. the It's an uh, opportunity for the Filipinos to uh, advertise yeah. its products to increase yeah. trade in the region. That's right. Hindi yeah. lang naman America at saka Europe yung trade. No. Yeah. Pati right. naman dito sa region ng ASEAN. Diba? Yeah. They are our immediate neighbors. Yeah. And actually, during our world chairmanship, we are giving particular focus uh, micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises or MSME. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. So uh, we're thinking of ways how to reduce the cost of uh, doing business for them mm -hmm. and how to integrate them sa regional and uh, global supply chain. Mm -hmm. So uh, we would like them to grow uh, as, as the ASEAN economic community grows as well. So that is something to look forward to it yeah. Zaldi, for yes. our small micro They're businesses. They're expanding. Yeah. So that the, the ease of doing business will be easier yeah. in the region. Baka nga mas madali pa nga mag-business uh, sa ASEAN kaysa sa, <laughs> sa Manila. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, also connectivity is very high on our uh, agenda. No? So uh, connectivity, we talk about physical uh, infrastructure and yeah. institutional infrastructure as well. No? But uh, it will be interesting to note na halimbawa um, sa Davao, if you would like to export uh, your goods to Bito, which is uh, in, in Indonesia, mm -hmm. it will take you 14 days for your products to uh, reach uh, Bito. No? Kasi your products right now will uh, go from Davao to Manila to Jakarta and then to Bito. Mm -hmm. But okay. now, uh, under our chairmanship, we would like to inaugurate the direct uh, shipment of goods from uh, Davao to uh, Bito which will cut shipping time to one and a half days. Wow. And uh, we will inaugurate this uh, during our uh, chairmanship. It's exactly uh, April uh, 30. That yeah. is uh, uh, the plan. No? Uh, and the president will be there to uh, inaugurate it. Um, so uh, that will be very significant yeah. because it will translate into uh, um, That's huge lower cost of uh, yes. goods, you yes. know, yeah. and uh, faster uh, uh, turnaround, yeah. you know. Uh, so one and a half days, nandun na yung product natin yes. sa dito. Um, if we go back here, <laughs> no. Maganda yan, Sir Sagi. Mark, can you believe from 14 days down to one and a half diba? days? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And wow. that's good because usually, the Philippines is like, so slow sometimes yes. with yeah. That's like traffic fast. and things. But now yon, naging fast na siya. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Kung no nakarang buwan ay nagpunta tayo sa Boracay Aklan bilang bahagi ng pagsisimula ng working and senior officials meetings. Ngayon naman ay lumipad tayo patungong ilo-ilo at dito sa Manila para saksihan ang ilan sa mga mahalagang activities ng ASEAN delegates. Let's watch this. I am especially happy in having the opportunity of hosting the 17th ASEAN Sociocultural Community, the ASCC Council meeting. 
The meeting presents significant opportunity for the country to lead and actively advocate ASCC priorities that contribute to the realization of the ASEAN Vision 2025. The meeting also reflects the priorities of the present Philippine administration under President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, and we are investing in human capital development, including health and education systems, and matching skills and training to meet the demand of businesses and the private sector, and two, which is close to our heart as a Department of Social Welfare and Development, improving the social protection programs for our poor, vulnerable, and marginalized. The ASEAN Economic Minister's uh, meeting is really just committed to hopefully make a difference uh, in this region as we try to promote increased trade and economic cooperation, investment cooperation. just committed to hopefully partnering for change, engaging the world, and if I will add the, the slogan of the ASEAN Business Advisory Council, making or bringing prosperity for all. for the AEC or the ASEAN Economic Community, uh, DTI is poised to promote inclusive, innovation-led growth towards uh, shared prosperity in the region. During the retreat, uh, we were able to push for, of course, the Philippine agenda uh, that will promote our, our economic priority uh, deliverables uh, by securing endorsement of fellow ASEAN economic ministers, and these deliverables touch on freer, freer trade and trade facilitation, trade in services, investment, connectivity, and innovation. The AEM was also able to strengthen the implementation of the ASEAN Economic Community Blueprint for 2025, which charts the future direction of the region's economic agenda as well as advocated for the conclusion of the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. Napansin namin also na hindi lang sa capital city ng Manila ginaganap ang ganitong mga meetings, pero also sa ibang provinces as well. So why is this arrangement and anong benefits nito para sa event nito? Yeah, that is really intentional no? because uh, we believe that there are a lot of good places here in the Philippines that uh, we need to promote. Diba? Kaya gusto nating i-host yung mga iba't ibang meetings ng ASEAN sa iba't ibang lugar ng uh, Pilipinas. And capable naman tayo to do that. No? That is mm -hmm. also part of promoting our uh, uh, MICE industry. No? Your meetings, international convention, and events uh, industry. No? And uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, nakakatulong ito sa local economies. Di ba? Kaya we want to disperse no? ang uh, hosting natin. We don't want to just do it uh, in one or two places. Yeah. Noong 2007, uh, Sir Zaldi, malalo nyo nung nag-host ang uh, Pilipinas, was it also spread o na-concentrate po sa isang lugar yung pag-host ng meetings before? I know that uh, the summit we held in uh, Cebu, mm -hmm. di ba? And we also held the meetings in Davao during that time. Uh, of course, Metro Manila, and uh, I think a few more places. Pero but, ngayon, mas uh, We have ngayon. more, no? I think we have 12 cities uh, right. uh, this year to uh, host the uh, ASEAN meetings. 
para ma- makilala ng mga kapitbahay natin na the Philippines is more than Manila, Cebu, and Yes. Manila. Yeah, di ba? Sabi nga natin, ang beauty of the Philippines is uh, outside uh, Metro Manila, di ba? So, Tama. this is really time to showcase them no? and help our uh, economies, uh, local economies as well. Yeah, you're reaching out sa yeah. ibang provinces. So, I'm sure maging beneficial yun. Yeah, and also, uh, gusto din natin maging aware yung mga tao natin sa iba't yeah. ibang probinsya Tama. about ASEAN. Yes. No? And this is one good way na malaman nila kung ano ba itong uh, ASEAN, bakit nagmi-meeting sa mga lugar nila, yes. di ba? So, it's also important. So, educational yes. Yes. also. Keeping two birds with one stone. That's Tama. right. Tama. Tama yes. yung phrase. <laughs> okay. Dahil po dyan, pakinggan naman natin ngayon ang naging reaksyon ng mga kapatid nating Ilonggo upon learning na napili ang kanilang lugar bilang host ng ilang ASEAN meetings. Mafi-feel namin na Iloilo is improving because an international event like ASEAN is being held here. know that Ilongas are very welcoming to them. Nakaka-proud po kasi yung Iloilo noon hindi disikat eh. Eh, nakakainggan yun ng ibang tourists para tumaas yung mga foreigner na pumunta dito sa Iloilo para ma-endorse mga produkto ng Iloilo at mismong Iloilo sa ibang bansa. The purpose of ASEAN is they want to strengthen the economy of the country, not only the economy itself but as a whole. It gives us more insight para at least man lang ang mga Filipinos makabalo sila kung paano sila maka-adjust sila hindi lang sa way of living kundi ang culture and its practice. Mayo man eh. Mayo man ang amon na watyag is garigin eh. Wat ang ano. Proud kami na garigin ni Wat amon sa Lilo ang Asian. Ano bila ka kabugal sa Ilunggo? Well, yung makatulong nga si Yan kasi mismo yung mga head ng mga ibang bansa is pumunta sa isang lugar at sila mismo nagsosocialize sa iba. Pwede maging ehemplo sa mga tao dito na sila mismo kahit ano anong lahi magsistik. Nagpapasalamat kami sa mga si Yan na dito ginanap yung ASEAN sa Lilo. Proud naman kami. To be a spoiler, but I'm sure sa mga susunod pang araw, we're going to see more ASEAN delegates going dito and exploring the places here. Yes. Tama, Margo. And that is a perfect opportunity for our kababayans para i-showcase ang kagandahan ng kanilang lugar and everything that their communities have to offer. Um, you know, uh, Idizaldi, there's just so much uh, questions that need to be answered regarding ASEAN. No? From let's say the talking about the Center for Biodiversity in yeah. Upilos Banos yeah. to uh, yes. what are the incentives in DTI and what does the whole social cultural thing have to do with the SWD? Yeah. Uh, but we don't have time. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know there's a website. Uh, yeah. Can you can you tell us what uh, our Kababayans can uh, log on to to know more about the ASEAN hosting of the Philippines? Yeah, pwede nilang malaman kung ano yung mga uh, meetings na yung natin at ano yung mga nangyayari dito sa mga meetings nito sa website ng ating Philippine Chairmanship. No? Ito yung www.asean2017.ph and also meron din tayong Facebook page, ASEAN2017 and okay. also uh, Twitter, hashtag ASEAN2017. Okay, so my Twitter, mm. my Facebook, saka yes. my website. So, yes. kung hashtag. naman ang diyan na explain ni Margo at saka ni uh, Sir Zaldi Patron, yeah. pwede po pumunta ang ating mga kababayan sa ASEAN Uh, 2017.ph That's right. yeah. At dito na po muna magtatapos ang ating programa. We hope that we are able to shed some light about the great opportunities here in our ASEAN or ASEAN region. Patagim pa lamang po yan. Marami pa tayo mapag-uusapan, lalo na tayo ang bida sa 2017 ASEAN Summits. So on our next feature, let's learn more about the ibang member countries ng ASEAN and of course, the ones that we'll visit with President Duterte. And of course, when they come back, let's learn more as well about the different delegations who will be going here and experiencing Dita sa Philippines. Alright. Uh, muli, uh, maraming salamat po sa ating uh, bisita ngayong uh, gabi. Uh, Executive Director Zaldi Patron ng Department of Foreign Affairs at sa lahat ng mga followers at viewers natin sa Facebook at sa YouTube. 
And of course, don't forget for more information, remember guys, you have to visit our website, which is ASEAN2017.ph. And of course, we want to say thank you, maraming salamat po, to the Foreign Affairs, Radio Television Malacanang, the Presidential Communications Operations Office, at sa lahat po ng ASEAN volunteers and groups mula sa Manila at sa iba pa sa kanilang pagsuporta and of course for showcasing the true spirit of the Filipino hospitality dito sa Philippines. See you next time! ASEAN, ASEAN na tayo! tayo.